All right. So the first card we have, Scorpio, is success. You may be feeling uh, for the month of May, uh, you have this in the uh, uh, how you're going to be uh, thinking. You're going to be thinking about your success, all your successes. You're going to be celebrating success. Uh, your achievements and um, all the positive things that you've achieved at this point in your life. So you're going to be doing a lot of uh, thinking about that. Maybe you think planning parties or uh, planning events or just thinking about um, how much you have succeeded. That's <laughs> really good. And the second card we have for you is break breaking through. You can, you guys are going to be uh, making some huge breakthroughs this month of May. Um, these breakthroughs could be you know, your achievements that you have achieved, you've broken through now to success. Um, they could be work related. They could be career, career work, um, relationships, uh, challenges that you've been going through mentally, physically in any way, shape or form. And you guys are breaking through to a new higher level of achieve and you've achieved quite a bit. This is really good. Wow. You guys are, uh, have the innocence card. This card is talking about, you're going to be feeling, this is how you're feeling this month of May. You, a lot of you guys are going to be feeling this sense of childlike innocence, um, seeing things for the first time, um, even though you've seen them a thousand times, right? Or you just never paid attention. You're going to be having this, um, a lot of you guys are going to be feeling a, a sense of wonderment, of newness within your life, uh, a refreshing a uh, childlike uh, reborn almost where you appreciate the little things in life, little things or big things, um, people, situations. Uh, it's a very beautiful energy. And I'm really happy to say you guys are going to be feeling, a lot of you guys are going to be feeling this wonderful um, freedom to uh, of, uh, of innocence within, your, within yourself. And the outcome is silence. Um, some of you might be um, needing to find some truth within yourself. Uh, you might be wanting to see some, find some answers within yourself. You might be receiving um, those answers this month of May. You may be getting uh, re 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 revealing, um, you know, questions and confusions. Maybe coming to uh, re uh, clarity this month. Um, if not, some of you guys need to meditate, go within, spend some time to um, maybe find some um, truth or some answers from within yourself. Um, so yeah, this is a great um, so month so far. All right, so for the main reading here, we have this energy of the Empress, which is in reverse. This could be a mother. It could be a mother figure. It could be a grandmother. It could be um, the, it could be the mother to your children. It could be your grandmother. It could be, uh, a mother figure. This mother figure is not doing well. She, um, she's not very fruitful right now. She's not very nurturing. Um, she's kind of in a, um, she's not her normal self, her normal fruitful, happy, um, nurturing, loving person. She, at this point, she feels a little insecure and, um, she's not her nurturing, loving self at this point. All right, so let's get into your reading. For the main, main energy of your reading this month, we have the Page of Swords. Um, okay, this is interesting. So the Page of Swords is in your is the main reading energy. This could be somebody younger than you, Scorpio. It could be, um, so, or somebody not younger than you, but has the mentality of somebody who's young, immature. Um, not really immature, but just young. Um, this is somebody who is coming forth in your life, um, this month, this could be you even acting out in this way where, you know, this could be an air sign too. It could be, um, it could be a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius. Um, but it's somebody who's coming forward and speaking the truth about something. Um, they're just speaking truth. Uh, and, and this might bring you some clarity, but yeah, it's either you uh, or there is somebody coming forward and they're going to give you some information, a message. This is somebody who's giving you a message. It could be a text message. It could be a phone call. It could be an email. Uh, it could be literally in person. But you are going to be receiving some kind of message and it's going to bring uh, give you some uh, truth or some information. The card that is crossing you is the Page of Cups. This is a water sign as well. It could, it could be you. 
it could be any, it could be Pisces or a Cancer as well. Um, it is again, it's a younger person. Um, possibly it could be your child. It could be a child. It could be a younger nephew or niece. It could just be a friend. Um, and it's somebody who's here, who's, who has, you know, they care, uh, they care and they're offering their emotions and advice, emotions and comfort. They're opening their heart and they have, um, a lot to give. Um, so this could be you feeling that this way this month. You could be uh, feeling very generous with your love and wanting to uh, be open-hearted and listen to others and be there for others because maybe you're feeling really good about yourself and now you're able to offer back some um, emotions and some attention. In the recent past, you have the death card. So in April sometime, possibly or before, but... Uh, it could even be in the very, very beginning of this month of May. Um, this is the death card in reverse. Um, in the past, or you had there was there was a delay in in something ending in your life. Something uh, was coming to an end for permanent. There was definitely an end of a life cycle or a cycle or which let which is a situation or a circumstance that it was it's the end of it. Um, but there was a delay. It, it, it was something that was ending, but it hadn't ended completely yet. Or you were really holding on to this, uh, this, you didn't want this to end. And so it was very difficult for you or the situation. And it was, uh, it was being prolonged a little bit, this ending. Um, you know, this, this most likely has now fully ended because this was in your past. Okay. There was a, there was a little bit of a clinging on to the past. There was something or somebody was clinging on you or the situation was clinging on. It wasn't fully ended, but it, it, it must have been by now. It's probably ended. Um, that was in your past. And what we have for you is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is in the position of, of something that you're trying to achieve or work towards something that you really want in your life right now. So Scorpio, you might want, um, you know, the Hierophant re uh, represents quite a few things. Um, it does represent commitment or not commitment, but a ceremony of commitment, almost like a marriage, because this is a spiritual person. This is somebody who can marry, you know, uh, um, a spiritual, uh, you know, wedding or something. Um, but most likely that's not the case for you, Scorpio. This is more about um, doing things in a, you know, maybe following the rules, doing things properly, um, doing things more spiritual founded, um, more in the, the realm of spirituality when it comes to morality and doing things the correct way or the way that the church would recognize or, a, or some kind of spiritual belief system. Um, so it looks like you guys are looking for maybe some spiritual advice from somebody, maybe a priest or, uh, you know, somebody within the church, you could be going to somebody for this, uh, type of thing. Um, you know, uh, some kind of ritual or ceremony within the church or within a religion or within any kind of spiritual, uh, type of, um, organization. Um, if that's not the case, you know, it looks like you guys are really wanting to do things by the rules. You want to do things the right way. All right. Right now in front of you, um, you have the seven of pentacles. So you guys are analyzing your money. You're analyzing your life when it, in regards to money or in regards to what you've put a lot of focus and attention on, um, time, money. Um, and you're wondering if your time and money is worth it, uh, because you put a lot of money or time, energy, love into something. And you're now asking, you're now look, stop, you've stopped, you put a halt to all this beautiful work that you've been working on money, even, you know, achieving, building all this wealth and abundance and growth, uh, regardless whether it was, was time, energy, uh, work, relationship, and now you've put a halt for a second and you're saying, I'm going to stop and analyze my life. I'm going to analyze what it is that I'm working on. And I'm going to determine, is this really, am I getting, am I doing and building something of worth and value uh, as far as what my return is? So you guys are going to be analyzing your, your situation to wonder, to decide whether it's worth it for you to continue on this way um, 
or do something different. Um, but you're, you're just taking a, a, a pause to kind of review your uh, life and your situation um, in regards to that. Okay. Hold on, guys. I've got, I just, uh... all right. All right, next card. This is what we have. This is the uh, Four of Cups. And this is coming to you in the month of May. This is the energy right in front of you. So this could be you or somebody else. But I see that this is kind of the pouting car car card to me. It's the Four of Cups and represents somebody who's feeling a little bit down. They're feeling a little bit stuck. They're feeling a little bit bored. They're feeling a little bit um, unhappy with what it is that they have in their life. And that could be a very good reason about why it is that you now all of a sudden you're putting a pause to something, um, whether it's work relationship or both or all, um, to determine whether you want to continue forward, um, whether you're getting the rewards of it or not. And so it's causing you to be possibly a little stuck, bored, like I said, bored, unhappy, uh, almost in a little bit of a negative kind of feel where you're feeling like, I'm not happy and I'm not happy with what I have. And I don't see any, I don't see anything in the future. It's almost like being uh, pessimistic, you know, kind of that feeling um, where you're just kind of like bitter and uh, something, something about being unhappy. Okay. Um, but it's just kind of a stuck feeling. So I think, I think you're taking a pause right now. Because something significant has really ended in your life or tried to end uh, or is ending. Um, and so I think it's causing you to really uh, take stock and review um, in your life. And um, you guys are going to be doing that. All right. The next card we have is um, the Eight of Pentacles. You guys are working, working, working. You see your situation as working really, diff you know, work working on something of very so of high importance that's making you money um being very detailed being very skilled at what it is that you do as a being this is a total professional person that is making money lots of money they're very busy though they're extremely focused on their work and they're producing quite a bit of money and they're doing very very well for themselves the next card we have is the temperance card in reverse so in your environment scorpio people, places, uh, home environment, work, work, uh, friends, whatever the people involved in your situation here, um, their outlook right now is a little bit unstable emotionally. Um, they don't have a lot of patience. They're, they're in need of a balance in their life. They're in need of some patience and balance. Um, because right now they're, they're not balanced at all emotionally. They're very uh, off kilter. Um, there's definitely a need for them to regain um, some balance and some uh, patience in the situation. So maybe that's has to do with one of these uh, younger people. These could be your children, um, again, friends, uh, anybody, romantic partners. It could be anything, but yeah. All right, the next card we have is the three of um, swords in, in, re in reverse. This is great. This is in the position of hopes and fears. So it looks like you guys are really hoping this month of May to just completely be over, you know, this ending or this heartache that is, um, you want it to end. So anything that's been postponed or within your emotions or thought, you know, your emotion, if you've had any emotional, um, heartache, if you've been crying, if you've been really sad, if you felt really disappointed, um, whether this, whether this was a, you know, any kind of ending, um, that was hurt, hurt hurting you, it looks like you're really hoping this month of May that you're just going to get over it. Like it's not going to bother you anymore. You're going to succeed and get past it. And that's exactly what it looks like is going to happen. You guys are going to be getting over any heartache. You're going to be seeing that it was a positive thing now that you're over the pain. Always when we finally get over something, right? We hold on to something maybe. Uh, maybe you guys are no longer going to hold on to something. Um, you're going to set it free and it's going to set you free. And the, reason, the outcome here is the five, uh, the five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is in reverse. So this tells me that you or somebody else involved here 
is feeling a little bit, um, you're going to be taking responsibility in the, in an argument that was, that was a, you know, pretty bad argument, a disagreement where two people or more, you guys were not getting along and everybody had different opinions and people were like, you know, saying really mean things or standing up for themselves and just kind of like somebody, people lost basically in the argument, nobody wins and everybody walked away. It looks like you're going to be taking responsibility um, or somebody else in the situation is. Uh, maybe that's what this message is coming forward to say. Um, this person might be coming forward to say that they had, um, or this could be you coming, you coming, you know, you going forward and telling somebody that, um, you know, you're, you're, you're apologizing you're, or you're just taking responsibility that, you know, you didn't have to be so harsh and that you're sorry that, um, things went down the way they did. So it's either you feeling guilty about it or not really guilty, but feeling like at least you're realizing now that somebody's realizing now that they did take a responsibility in the separation and argument, um, in this situation between these two people or more. And, um, that's a good thing when we recognize, right. That we're, it's not always like somebody else's fault. It's everybody's fault. Um, or it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a shared fault. We all, we all can't just blame everybody. So somebody was blaming and now they are not. Now they're realizing they had a part in this. They're being very mature about it. Um, so you might be wanting to apologize to somebody or, you know, somebody might be coming to apologize to you or, um, you might just be realizing it within your mind, um, and, and seeing things from a higher perspective, which is a more mature way to take, take things. And of course that's going to help you move on. You guys, when we forgive, forget, and take responsibility for our own actions in, um, anytime when there's disagreements, um, it makes us a stronger person and it helps us to really take responsibility and value what it is that we, we participate in our lives. And that sets us free. It sets us free from heartache. It sets us free from, um, doing wrong to others. And that really will set us free. So good for you guys. Um, if that's you, it really will set you free, um, by taking responsibility. It doesn't mean you necessarily, um, you know, want to mend things and make things right because some things can never be made right only because people are all, we all have different opinions. Th sometimes things are meant to separate, but it's, it's also good, you know, just for the fact that you guys want to apologize or want somebody to, you know, or at least you're taking responsibility that shows a lot for yourself and it will help you, uh, move forward, um, and do things more. Maybe you're going to be doing things more, um, in a spiritual way, in a spiritual manner, maybe this is the right thing to do spiritually, you know, by forgiving and forgetting and, um, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. And, you know, maybe the church believes that, and that's how you're going to be following your life in a more higher perspective or, um, moralistic way. Anyway, you guys, um, this looks like a fantastic month for you. I see success this month in money, and I see, uh, you, um, getting some clarity, some messages and putting a final, final end to some heartache and some sadness that you've gone through and, um, you know, really just forgiving and letting, letting go. I, I, that's really important. You guys, I really, really am happy for you. That's really, really good. Let it go guys. Let it go. Um, and you have some really good energies here. These, um, People are coming in with truth, clarity, honesty, and um, an open heart. And that's all you need is good friends, good people. And, um, you know, once you guys decide, um, once you analyze your situation um, and decide what it is you want to do going forward, you know, you'll stop being stuck um, and you'll start seeing things from a... Um, a different perspective and to gain more, you're going to be gaining more. Anything you, you let go of, you're going to end up gaining more in the long run. 